Hello everybody, today in front of me I have OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite smartphone and in this video I would like to show the best display settings to change on this device. So first of all, let's go ahead and unlock our smartphone. After that we will open up the settings app and head straight for the display and brightness category. Alrighty, so the first option, a very interesting configuration that you can play with is called screen color mode. And in here we have two color presets that we can switch between, as you can see vivid and natural. So the vivid provides us the vivid color mode or the color preset provides us with enhanced colors, whilst the natural gives us softer color display. So choose whatever um, preset you like better. And for your convenience, you also have this preview pictures in order to immediately see uh, how the colors that you have uh, opt for will exactly look like, as you can see right here. And as a bonus, you're also able to change the color temperature in here as well. So you can, by dragging this bar, you can go from cool all the way up to warm. Alrighty, the next setting we would like to share with you is called eye comfort mode. And once enabled, it prevents your eyes from being too tired looking at the screen by filtering out the excess amounts of blue light. So whether you are experiencing a significant eye fatigue, we highly recommend that you go on with the eye comfort mode. Here you can set up some schedule for its automatic activation and deactivation respectively. For example, if you go for the custom schedule, you are able to set the start time for this mode to be enabled and the turn off time as well. Here you also have the bar. You also have the bar that allows you to regulate the screen color temperature, but basically it's just uh, here in order for you to adjust the intensity of this effect. And as you can see, uh, it is provides you with better warmness that, uh, than it was with the color settings, in the previous one. I'll leave it in the middle, for example. And there is also the black and white more than here that once activated, once um, switched on, as you can see, make all, makes the color palette of your phone to be in like black, white, and grayish colors. So a very the black and white mode is a very handy and useful mode once you use your smartphone for reading something. Basically, as the whole eye comfort mode, it uh, protects your eyes from being too tired even better. So that was it as far as the eye comfort mode goes. The next setting we would um, that we want to share with you is called screen refresh shade. In here we have two values to choose from. So basically, if you'll go for the highest screen refresh rate of 120 Hz, as it is set right now, you will get uh, significantly smoother animations and overall like better visual experience. As you can see from this preview animations, that's how the high uh, screen refresh rate of 120 Hz looks. And this exactly uh, what does the standard mode of 60 Hz look like. So it's uh, well, well, visually less smooth. But if you opt for the smaller screen refresh rate value, as a bonus, you'll get the longer battery life and your battery health will be like more durable. So your uh, OnePlus smartphone will be able to run on a single uh, battery charge for significantly longer mm, amount of time. So that's about it as far as the screen refresh rate mode goes. And the final setting, the final display setting that we wanted to show in this video is the screen display. Here you are able to configure and set up how does the top part of your display will look like, where the selfie camera is located, and how will the full screen mode and apps uh, look as well. So once we go to the front camera display by app section, we'll see that uh, we are able to configure the displayment mode of the of the stop part of your display, as I mentioned, for each particular and individual application. So you can either go for the show camera, show camera, show front camera that will like use this uh, whole area as as for an interface, or you can opt for the height front camera, respectively, which will just make all this part look black, or I mean, just make it black. And also the full screen uh, configurations as well. <coughs> it, it is something that we can change, but in here I do not have any apps since all the applications that are installed on my phone support the full screen uh, display by default. So basically there is just nothing to configure. Alrighty, so that was it, not only for the screen display 
setting but for this video in general thank you so much for watching and bye bye